Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be learning about how you can change your WordPress passwords. So there might be a lot of reasons why you might be want to, uh, you might be uh, into changing your password, Mo most common of which is that you might have just forgotten about your password or your, you have a very high risk website which is very hackable and you want to make it more secure by getting a very secure password. So in this video we will be learning about how you can do that uh, in three methods number one by just directly fixing the problem from the login screen which is very simple number two by from uh, changing the password from the dashboard of your uh, wordpress site and lastly from a control panel which in this case we are going to be using cyber panel so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video Okay guys, so there are three things that you can do. Now, number one we are going to see is that, for example, you do remember your email address, but you have forgotten about your password. So what you can do in that regard. All you have to do is click on lost your password and WordPress is going to give you a link. Uh, it will be sent to your email address. Just click on it, change your password and you are done. That's the first one scenario. The second scenario is actually quite, um, different it means for example you have forgotten about your email address you don't remember your password but you are still logged in from your previous session so for example you are still seeing this screen but you have forgotten about your password and you have forgotten about your email address so what you can do is you can just go through uh, come onto your wordpress dashboard from here click on users from the left hand side menu and click on all users so it's going to show you the list of all the users that have access to your WordPress site. So for example, right now I only have two, there might be three, four, five, six users that are using your WordPress site. So click on your user, scroll down into the account management and click on set new password. Now by default, WordPress is going to give you a very strong password. Of course, you can always change it. You can always change this password, but make sure that password is um memorable you could uh, you can you will not uh, lose it uh, in the future and it is a strong password of course and not an obvious password so that nobody could change it once you are done with it just click uh, click on uh, set new password and update your user and eventually your password will be saved so once you just cl simply click on update your password your password will be changed so that's the second scenario Okay, so now we are going to move towards the third scenario in which you are logged out of your WordPress site, you don't remember your email address, you don't remember your password. So what to do in that? Now, Cyber Panel is super easy to understand and anybody who uses it, they know that everything is very accessible to you. So Cyber Panel has this amazing feature that will take you directly to your uh, PHP My Admin and from there you can change your password. Now for that, First of all, you need to know what your database name is. Now for that, so simply click on WordPress from the left hand side menu and click on list WordPress. Now this is going to take you to, your, uh, to a page which is going to show you the list of WordPress websites, all of them. So you're going to select your site and click on it and it will take you to your site's uh, WordPress manager. So this is the WordPress manager from here. You need to click on file manager. And once you click on it, you will be redirected to the file manager for your website. Now go to scroll down and go to wpconfig.php. Right click on it and click on edit with code mirror. So now you will be able to see your name, your username and your password. So this is your name right now. <clears throat> this is the name of your uh, database. Now make sure that you note know this since we are going to search for this name in our PHP my admin. So right now I'm going to just remember the first digits that is enough KBU. So once I know that, let's go back to our cyber panel, go, uh, cyber panel account, scroll down and go into databases from the left hand side menu, click on it and click on PHP my admin. It will take you instantaneously to the PHP my admin of your web uh, of your server. Now from here, you will be able to see all of the databases that are present in the left hand side menu, click on your on database that uh, for which you want to change the password I can see that this is mine so let's click on it so this is now showing all the tables that are present in your database so 
So for example, we have WP comments, you have WP links, your posts, terms, user, ma user meta, and of course your WP user. That's the one that we need, the WP users. Now, mostly it's uh, like in an ascending order. So mostly you will see WP user at the very end of your page. So click on it. Now you will be able to see all the users that are using your WordPress site. For example, we remember that on this page, uh, all users, there were two users. Same in the database, you are being shown the two users that are using your WordPress account. For example, we need to change the password for this user, so click on edit. Now from here, you will be able to see user underscore pass. Now this is the password. So this is the password of your um, WordPress site. Now this is an encrypted password. This is not the actual password of your WordPress site. This is an encrypted password. To change that, just select it, change it anything you want. For example, I'm just going to make it super simple. Now I want this to be the password of my WordPress site. Good enough, but it is important that in the functions column, you select uh, MD5. Now basically this, what this MD5 is going to do is going, it is a set of algorithm which is essentially going to hide your password. So for example, if somebody else was opening up my database and was looking over here, he was just saying that gibberish of password, he will not be able to see the actual password. So once you have done MD5, scroll down and click on go. As soon as you uh, click on go, it's going to change the password of your website. Now you know the username, which is also mentioned over here. So this is our username. Uh, user login and this is going to be our password, this is our email address, this is our website for which we want to change the password. And once you enter all this information into WordPress, you will be logged in and make sure that you do remember this password, otherwise uh, you can just go through this video again and you will be able to know how you can change your WordPress password. Now I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.